Hello and welcome back to the uh, third tutorial on removing gradients. Um, and in the first one, we looked at um, using the uh, gradient tool as well as creating a star layer to protect your stars. In the second one, we looked at um, using the inverted layer mask to get rid of gradients. And in this third one, this is um, another method of getting rid of gradients, and this is um, using um, the blending mode um, darken uh, to get rid of, of gradients as well. Sorry, no, uh, the blending mode difference, difference, not darken. Uh, and what I've done here is uh, I've got the the gradient removed and, and how I want it to finish up. Um, and I've used three layers to do this. So let's just begin by removing uh, the two layers I've created and have a look at uh, where we started off from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely scratch those ones out. Right click, delete layer, select, right click, delete layer. So we're just back with our background. And then I'm going to right click this time, duplicate layer, and pressure in the key. Or if you're really being adventurous, you can go right up here to layer and do it from there. But that's just a quick way of it. Okay, so we've got our gradient, and we want to get rid of it again. So what I've done is I've just created a new duplicate layer of the background. And then what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go over to the clone tool. So it's like a, a clone stamp tool here. And select that. And then using the Alt key, I'm going to select in the area here. Uh, a nice even darkness and just press alt and click once and that selects that area and then I'm going to start painting with that over the gradient area at the top here. Uh, I want it, the idea is to get it to look just like it is down there at the bottom. Uh, so we can click in that area there and start doing that. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, wait a minute, he's painting out the stars and everything, what's going on? So with that done, I'm going to just a little bit more efficient, isn't it? Just one more task. Just one more. Anyway, so there we go. Nicely um, uh, all even the way I want it to be. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the filter and the Gaussian blur. And I'll set it at a radius of 61.8. Just use the slider until you get it nice and smooth and even like that. Okay, that then go back to your layers palette again and you're working again on the top background copy. And then you scroll to your blending mode and select difference. Now I know that doesn't look very nice, so what we'll do is we'll just use the opacity slider up here. stars they're going to be darkened which we don't want so to fix that we go back to the background layer sorry back to the background layer here I'll just close that top one off so you can see what we're working on so back to the background layer and then go up to select and color range and in the color range box select your first eyedropper on the star right in the middle and then choose your second eyedropper and click on a few more stars and try to choose stars with different colours. So 
pressing down the Alt key, you simply go around the area that you don't want. And you can select it on, let that go, and then deselect that. So I'll zoom out. As the star is selected, one last thing to do, you need to just uh, make the selection around the stars a little bit bigger. So we go up to select, modify, expand, and expand by three, and then again select modify and feather and feather the radius by three and then you're done selecting the stars so the next stage is to create a duplicate layer of just your stars so to do that we go to layer new layer via copy and we'll place a layer there which is your stars so if I click on the top layer as well there's our gra uh, gradient removed and we have our star layer if we just click on our star layer which we've got here and we go up to image adjustments and find hue and saturation if we bring up the lightness you notice we can lighten our stars up we bring up saturation saturate some of the colours in those stars if we bring up hue quickly just brighten those stars. If I click that off, you see what I mean. So there's our stars back in shape again. And when you've done all that, what you've done here is with your background copy, you've applied um, your clone stool, <laughs> clone, clone, oh come on Mark, everybody, your clone, clone stamp tool. This is what happens when you do astrophotography. You don't really stay up all night long and get tired. Anyway, so you use your clone stamp tool and you uh, smooth out your background and then apply Gaussian blur, <coughs> as I've showed you in the beginning. How to do that, and then you can use your star layer. Another thing you can do with your star layer as well is to apply go to image adjustment and curves. You can use curves to dim that down a little bit or brighten it up. Whatever you want. Okay. So there we go, that's the third method of dealing with horrible gradients. I bet there's more out there if you look around, but those are the three that I tend to use generally to get rid of gradients. So I hope that's helped you a little bit. There are uh, third party plugins you can get for Photoshop like Gradient Exterminate and others um, you pay for and <coughs> I'm sure they work well but I'm quite happy with those three methods for the time being so I hope that's helped you out um, and uh, if I do any more tutorials I'll post them up for you to have a look at but that's it for now thanks for listening if you need any help astrocaster.blogspot.com and I'll be happy to help you out thanks for watching bye